Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber B. If you're new to my channel, and today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I am gonna be finally, I mean finally organizing my owner suite bathroom. So if you are interested in videos like this, stay tuned. <laughs> You guys, it's been a long time coming, organizing this bathroom. I've been in this house for about six months or so, and I still have not organized this bathroom. I honestly don't know how I've been able to function because when I show you guys these before shots, like, it's a hot mess, okay? It is a hot mess. I am super ashamed of how it looks and how I've been functioning. But today, we're gonna make a change, so, I am definitely gonna make everything look very aesthetically pleasing, but very functional and practical because I'm super big on that. Like, yes, I want it to be very aesthetic, very, you know, nice, pleasing to the eye, but it has to be functional and practical. So I am gonna do that today. I have really a couple things I'm gonna organize in this bathroom. So definitely under the sink has to be organized. I already have products there, which is a great thing, at least for under my sink. Uh, I'm definitely going to be giving Dante some products and systems to kind of organize his space. Um, and then the drawers, which me and Dante share together, so definitely need some type of organization there. And then I have a utility closet to the left of me where I store all of my like extra products and just extra things that cannot be stored under the sink, which I am super, super thankful for that space because I realized that I have a lot of space stuff and as a woman most of you guys know like we just have a lot of beauty products makeup skin care products like a lot of things that we need storage space for like Dante doesn't even use this space at all which is kind of embarrassing because all of this stuff is mine but it is what it is but we're gonna be organizing that as well so let's just let's just jump right into the video okay have finished cleaning all of the drawers as you can see the messy closet we're gonna get to that but I finished cleaning all of the drawers and as you can see it is a mess you guys oh my god I'm so embarrassed all right but I'm really happy that the cabinets are cleaned out I did spill some oil in here so that's why it looks like this so rule of thumb when you move somewhere anywhere new or just in general make sure you line your cabinets I definitely made a mistake so I'm gonna be lining those for sure even with my products and I cleaned out the drawers and I've already placed some of the products just to kind of see what it'll look like um, and so here's some of the product placement already and then Dante's is just he's just wow I mean, putting me to shame here. I mean, he do got some little spots, but not like mine. Now I'm gonna do the product placement, and I wanted to show you some of the products that I got for the cabinet and drawer area in the bathroom. So starting with these type of products that I just showed you that are in the drawer. These are from Amazon, and you guys know I got you. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you to shop yourself if you want to organize your bathroom or if you have any other similar organization products coming up that you, you know, see a product that you like and you want to snag. So I love these. These fit really nicely into the drawer and then they do have some shorter versions of these. So I'll put like for instance when I put the toothpicks in here as well. So this drawer is going to be like my whole dental drawer. So I really love that, you know, these two little short pieces fit. And then these longer pieces will be where our toothpaste and toothbrushes will live. And then the second drawer I'm thinking is gonna be skincare. So we have this bigger 
bin that's from M Design as well. And these actually may look familiar because these were also um, used within my T slash uh, junk drawer organization video, which I'll leave that up above in the cards and down below in the description box as well as well as these two little bins. And then I felt like for the last drawer, I'm not gonna put any type of bins in here because this will be kind of where the bigger products live. And they don't really need any bins per se. Um, I'm just gonna make sure they're very kind of organized and it looks really nice. And it was already pretty really nice to begin with, but I just wanted to have some structure and organization for these. So I'm gonna organize the drawers first and then I'll show you the products that I got for under the cabinets. show you the products really quick that I am going to be putting under the sink in the bathroom. So starting with the old trusty stackable bins from the container store. I would love, love, love these. They're really good to put like different products in that you just kind of want to see out in the open. So for instance, Dante is obsessed with Queen U Helen cocoa butter. Oh my gosh, such a very kind of like oldie type of um lotion but he's obsessed with this and so i thought it would be cool and neat to kind of have um all of his queen helen cocoa butter stacked in this thing and he usually buys it in bulk so it'll be nice to kind of have them like stacked up and that way he can just kind of keep all his little products here um as well as any of his beer care or cologne whatever i thought this is just really really nice to kind of have so that's going to go under his portion of the sink and then i got these bins for both of us which you know you never can go wrong with nice open clear bins and then i actually found this particular product on amazon which again everything will be linked this bin right here is from amazon and essentially it's a stackable bin so you could have it this way but i think it's stacked um and they're stackable drawers so you can put all your you know things that you need in these drawers which i really love and you can put like little um little i don't know like little cubes or mini bin baby bins is what um they're called in these as well too if you have like smaller things you want to organize in these drawers so i really love this product i'm super excited to use it and then i already kind of had products um under my sink which i'm going to use so for instance i have the jewelry container which i'm still trying to figure out some solutions for my jewelry i'm also in the midst of kind of like um cleaning and starting over in my jewelry journey so for now this will work but i think i definitely will foresee myself in the future kind of changing that up and in the future as well too i definitely want to do custom closets so i feel like that's something i'm going to include in my closet as far as that <laughs> All right guys, we are in the home stretch of this organization project. So now I'm gonna do the closet, which shouldn't take me that long, hopefully. Under the cabinets look really, really good. I'm super like happy with the end result. Definitely gotta make labels for that. So I'm gonna save that for another day because I am tired. But I'll still show that in this video, but I am gonna just go ahead and organize this really quick. So I just put two of the gold bin clips on the bin and you guys, you can't tell me that isn't a vibe. Like, look at that. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this look.
is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it or if you are loving the organizational video so far. I'm thinking that the garage is like my next project that I'm gonna tackle because it's a hot mess, okay? So I think I'm gonna do that next. Let me know down below if you guys are loving these videos and I will be sure to make more content like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!